Hi there, it's Simone. A couple of weeks ago, I was super inspired to tackle one of my unfinished objects that have been laying around in my stash forever. And I was actually ready to let go of this. I, in 2017, I used the standard Daisy Dory inserts to create a monthly journal with photos, collage elements, and I made them, they were amazing. Well, at least to me. And I hadn't, since they were so time consuming, I was, after March, I was already far behind my monthly, in my monthly journaling. So I actually skipped April. I but I had printed all the pictures for the whole month. And, but none, nothing had actually been added to the standard Daisy Dory. Um, and when I went through this and was filming this to, to let you know and show you that it's okay to just get rid of something and decide that this is done and it's not going to be finished and you're going to put it back into your stash. I decided why, well, I have this, this um, personal Dory that I used as my planner at the time. Why don't I just add the photos where they go? Even if, if it's not the right place exactly, why don't I just add everything in that I can and that I want to add? Uh, there was ephemera from the computer history museum there was there was stuff there was lots of stuff to add and then um if there was a schedule maybe just glue a photo right on top of it um but just so that i would have since i had already printed all the photos why not just add them to the planner um because done is better than perfect right so that's exactly what i did I actually pulled out several of these um, journaling cards because I because I thought I would just add um, some tip-ins for the photos, but that's not really what happened. There was so much space in this planner left that I was able to um, to just add them to the pages. And now I'm I'm looking through the photos because sometimes it's but. Back then in 2017, I feel like what happened because the Dory inserts were so, had so many pages, I often also documented things that I wouldn't normally pick if I looked back at this four or five months later. And so I went through and looked at those photos and decided, well, I want to add the all of these, but this is not as important as it might have been back then. Um, which is something that I have actually um, realized a lot of times. Um, if you document, like if you write down key events and all the things that you think might be important and then go back to it, not necessarily like four or five years later, but for instance, if you're someone who wants to document their year with photos, why not wait, facilitate photo documentation by at, like sorting them into months or weeks or however you are documenting the, you want to document it, um, take notes, but maybe start documenting last year at the beginning of this year. So for 2019, you would start in 2020, then it would be much easier to filter the important events instead of um, being overwhelmed by thinking you have to document all the things which sometimes aren't as important when you think back later. I mean, yes, totally. It's totally okay to document, to sometimes document the everyday, but do you have to document the everyday, the m mundane routine of the everyday 365 days a year, maybe one each season would be totally fine. And then um, document key events for, for the rest of the year. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. It's just an idea. And I have, when I did 
project life, I really enjoyed documenting what was farther away. Not 2017, but last year in 2019, I worked on finishing up 2018 and it felt a lot more doable then. As you can see, I don't didn't really have a rhyme or reason for how I approached this. Um, I just started adding in stuff. And in the end, when I go through this, and um, so I had, I pulled out some photos of some envelopes and then I decided, no, it doesn't really, I'm, the numbers on, there were numbers on the envelopes and I thought that maybe those meant um, the dates, but I guess it had something to do with the spreads that were in the Daisy Dory. Probably it was probably all planned out, but I didn't didn't know that at that time. So when I realized it's not the dates, I just emptied out all the envelopes to see how many photos I still had, um, roughly where they went during that month. And then I looked through and decided, do I need this? Is this important? Uh, what do I actually want to to leave in there? And what is okay if it goes? So that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm, I'm just adding the photos into the pages or places where I think they could go. And, um, and then I'm looking through this is too many photos, which ones can go, which ones will stay. Um, I am, as much as I like the, oh my gosh, I have completely lost, what is the name of the the jellyfish? Wow. Um, I decide that actually I can look up a jellyfish photo on the aquarium side, but um, the selfie that I took with my children, that's not something that I can find on that um, on that website. So I'm trying to add all those photos that are with the children and me and, and not, um, and use only photos with elements like a new planner or stuff when there is room and nothing else wants to go on that page. Um, I covered up the hand lettered, uh, spring break because I needed room for the photos and so I just wrote spring break on the top of the page, even though it's not as pretty, it's, it's fine. The photos are in that case, having the photos there is more important than not having the photos there. And same for, if I didn't have room for the Ikea, Ikea photo, that would have been great too. It, I didn't need it on that page. Yeah, so going through and adding all that stuff, I am tipping in, you saw that card that I tipped in there. Uh, and then I decide to just, these are photos from a baseball game that we went to. And so I just used the back side of the, uh, the cards, the tickets as a place to house my photos which went perfectly well. Um, I really liked that idea. <laughs> I want to do this too. And it was so, so much fun to actually add those photos. So I'm, I'm really inspired to, to document with photos again, which I haven't, I haven't documented. I made the conscious decision not to document using photos in 2020. Um, I still have photos on my computer. So if I want to go back and document 2020, I can, um, but this, this looks fun. So maybe I will incorporate photos somehow next year. Um, we will see is there's still so much time I'm, I'm playing with the idea of, um, using a Hobonichi cousin, um, which has monthly pages, weekly pages, and daily pages. And the amazing Hobonichi, not Hobonichi, Tomoyo River paper. However, I don't really know how the uh, real like photo printouts would look like. I would probably have to print the pictures on paper. Um, but that's okay because you can't really see um, 
the photos that I printed here, I definitely printed, did not print for the um, beautiful scenery and the amazing imagery that is on the photos because um, if I wanted to, to look at the photo because it's so because it's such a good photo, it needed to be bigger. Um, this is just for remembering what actually happened. Um, yeah, and then I'm adding all four of those tickets and I add, used this clip. I added it in with washi tape and then, actually no, not washi tape, I used clear tape and then it stood off and so I just decided to um, um, use my glue tape and glue it to the tickets as well. And I decided that I would actually keep that um, receipt uh, and the photo of the basket, but I was going to just use my stapler and staple it onto the page that I actually went grocery shopping. And then, as you can see, I still have empty pages in the back. I was so... Um, I was able to actually add all the things in and so I decide to just cut down this um, pumpkin paper co card that came with the order and add it onto this page. Um, so it's full as well. And then I have the favorites from the month of April. I don't really know why I actually did this. I used to save and print uh, the nine favorite photos from my Instagram feed for every month. I'm not sure why this is important. Maybe to see what you all liked, who knows. And then I have this, this was what I used to document the month, uh, what I wanted to transfer into my Daisy Dory, but I just added it into the middle of the booklet with some uh, scotch tape and decided to call it done. And then I didn't like the a card standing out so I cut it off the text was still readable readable on the back and then I used some clear packing tape that you can't see I'm just flipping through this whole thing now and then I used some clear packing tape for the front cover so that nothing would come off and this was sticky here so I'm taking off the sticky and I I really like how this turned out. It was so easy to finish this. I'm so happy that I actually have a documentation and another notebook, even if it's not the same size, but the notebook for April 2017 has been done. And it was the easy, the least amount of work. I, I think I, I did this in about an hour. And it's done. I was ready to let it go, but I'm so happy that I didn't. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this encouraged you to either let go of one of your projects that you still have sitting in a box or maybe find another solution to finishing it with less work than you thought it was originally going to be. I hope you're doing well. I will see you soon. Bye.